we all know that shrinkage is real. So I wanted to show you guys my shrinkage and look at that, look at that. This is probably longer than what my hair was before when I was relaxed. Hey curl friends, it's Gabrielle Aishel and guess what guys, I am officially two years post relaxer. Woo! <laughs> two years post relaxer, that is 18 months transitioning to natural and six months fully natural. I'm so excited. And I wanted to share with you guys a little update on my journey, things that I've been doing since I big chopped, things that I've done over the course of the two years. If you're interested in hearing about my hair anniversary, keep on watching. First off, I wanted to talk about my routine. I have been going through the full wash day process every single week. I have not really done too much co-washing. I've done it maybe a handful of times. <laughs> maybe a handful of times, but I like to make sure I cleanse my hair every week because I've recently started using grease. So it's actually a mixture of some greases and some oils, but it has the grease consistency. I think I've mentioned it in another video, but we all know grease is a little bit thicker. Well, it's a lot of bit thicker than oil. And people talk about how it kind of claws up the pores and whatnot, but I've been using it. It's been working for me. I think oil was a little bit too light for me. So using a heavier, grease has really helped my scalp out a lot it's not dry anymore after about one day of oiling my scalp it would get dry again so i switched over to grease in the winter time i was thinking it's because it was winter and it was just dry outside and dry all over even on my scalp so i switched out the oil for the grease and it's been working i I only have to graze my hair like every two to three days, sometimes even longer. It it likes grease. I'm okay with that. Like some things that might not be in the curly girl method or regimen book or whatever may work for you and that's fine. As long as it works for you, you and your hair, I think that's all that matters. So I pre-poo first, then I shampoo, condition, deep condition, use a leave-in and then style. Last week, like I said, was the first time that I did not do the initial conditioner. And I actually liked it. It did cut down a little bit of time, obviously, because you don't have that whole step of applying the conditioner to your hair and then rinsing it out. And then having to go back and do the same thing with the deep conditioner. So I think I'm going to start leaving that initial conditioner step out. The products that I've been using during the last few months I guess I've been obviously I've been doing product reviews so I've been trying out different products I tried the Sienna Naturals which is the line by Issa Rae I tried the Ajoa Beauty line and that is really good those are both black owned companies and why not support black owned women black owned women at that the products that I've been loving the most are the Ajoa Beauty and then the Mayel, Pomegranate, and Honey. Those two have been really good for my hair. Also, Curls, Blueberry Bliss line. Those three, actually, are really, really good. That leave-in conditioner is... Also, I've been liking Garnier Fructis conditioner and deep conditioner. I just did a review on the Garnier Fructis one-minute hair mask, and I'll leave a link to that above in the cards and also in the description box below. I really like that and I've been using the conditioner um, historically, historically that's funny, as a pre-poo so I really like Garnier products, they are really good for my hair, the slip is really good. You wouldn't expect to see that being used for natural girls hair but I really like that so like I said it works for me, it works for me and that's all that matters. <laughs> When I style my hair, my go-to style is a twist out. I have 
really liked the twist out and I think it's the easiest thing to do because it's literally doing two strands of hair and then just twisting it. I love the look. I love how easy it is to take out the twist compared to doing a braid where you have to actually do more and the twist you can just like whoop, and it unravels and it's so cool when it does that. So I absolutely love the twist outs. I've only done braid out twice and it's so funny because when I was transitioning I did braid outs all the time. So that's a big change for me. I really do like how braid outs look but I think it's just more time consuming than a twist. I did try to do a wash and go. It wasn't that great and I don't know if it was just because I my hair wasn't moisture trained or whatever because I don't know my curls were struggling. <laughs> But one of my friends, Kelly Nicole, she has a channel here too, so you should check that out. I'll leave it in the description box below. She said she would take the time and walk me through a wash and go because her wash and goes be bomb. They be bomb. They be bomb. So hopefully, and I think we're going to actually, um, we're supposed to be going to New York in July. That was set up last, or that was talked about last year. So hopefully it actually happens, but maybe she'll help me out in person too. I have found it easy because, or easier, because I've been home every day for the past year. So that kind of made my transition process a little bit better. Like I didn't have to have my hair looking A1 before going out the house because I wasn't going out the house. <laughs> so if I wanted to just put braids in it and then just leave it as is, I did. And that has really helped me out a lot. So I'm also very thankful for COVID because without that, I would have had to man manipulate my hair a little bit more. And you know, hair, it, it needs a break every once in a while. So I'm thankful that I've had that opportunity to work from home and therefore giving my hair more of a break than it would have if I would have been going into work every day. Next thing I wanted to talk about is blow drying and straightening my hair. I used to blow dry my hair all the time when I was transitioning because that's the only way I was able to manage the two different textures. But since I big chopped, I've only blow dried it twice and I did a video both times. So if you're interested in seeing how I blow dry my hair, I'll leave that up above in the cards and then also in the description box below. But I've been, I do it on low heat, high speed, I think. Yes, low heat, high speed. The last time I straightened my hair was December 2019 when I was in a wedding. It's been a while since I've straightened my hair and I haven't even had the urge to straighten my hair. And it's funny because, you know, after coming from relaxed hair and having it straight every two weeks. I used to get my hair done every two weeks. Even if I didn't go to the hair salon, I could do it myself because I had a flat iron in my, my room upstairs. So I can imagine all that heat damage that I was getting. Well, my hair was already chemically straightened, but on top of that, all that heat that I'm putting onto my hair, it's probably not even good for my hair, but thank God I'm natural and I have no urge to do that. If I do, I would buy a wig. When I wash my hair, I usually leave the twist in for a couple days and then I take the twist out. So at nighttime, it's really easy. I just use a bonnet sometimes, but I always have my satin pillowcase on my bed. So even if I don't use a bonnet, the satin pillowcase is good enough to protect my hair from getting damaged at nighttime. I do not use pineapples because my hair is kind of short when it's shrunken up. I feel like Pineapples are good for longer hair, but like if I use a, a little thing to give me a pineapple, I feel like it's not gonna look right when I try to like flip it out in the morning. So I don't I don't use a pineapple. I just go like this and don't like lay on my hair like that. So that's what I've been doing at nighttime. The next topic that I wanted to talk about was trimming and dusting. I have not trimmed my hair yet. I keep saying this that I want to go to a professional to get it trimmed because I still do have relaxed ends on my hair. So um, I do really want to get it trimmed professionally, but I have not been proactive in looking into 
hair salons that do natural hair in my area so that's on me I did look maybe for like an hour but some of the, the reviews were like iffy so I'm like eh, I don't want to take the chance on my hair I do however dust my ends so if I feel or see a single strand knot I will get my little shears out and cut them and I've said this so many times in so many videos <laughs> I cut them as I see them. So if I do a twist and the ends don't curl up, I'll cut this. As always, if I see a single strand knot, I will cut it. Always got my scissors on deck, as you guys know, just in case I see a single strand knot. That baby's getting cut out of my hair right away. <laughs> I'm actually going to do a bigger I guess it's more of a trim this week um, because last week when I was doing my hair, I felt, you you know how your ends feel when there's a whole bunch of split ends and things like that. It just didn't feel, it felt kind of nasty. So it will be the first time trimming my hair now that it's fully natural. So I will be obviously doing a video on that for you guys to see how I do it. Last week when I started doing it, it felt like my hair felt so good like when I combed the pieces that I actually trimmed, it felt so good. So I think it's very important to listen to our hair. I know everyone says it, but it's honestly the, the truth. Like we need to listen to our hair. Like when your hair feels, when it doesn't feel nice at the ends, when it's hard to brush, hard to comb, hard, super hard to detangle, then it's probably about time for a trim. So I'm definitely going to be listening to my hair and doing that tomorrow. So far, I have been loving the natural lifestyle. I did not really love the transitioning journey, but I did appreciate it because the way that I went through my transitioning process, I feel like it did set me up to be good for when, now that I'm fully natural. So I'm... It was a time where I didn't like the natural hair because I had my relaxed ends on it, but it, was, it wasn't the natural hair that was causing me problems. It was really the relaxed hair that was causing me problems. But the transitioning process, it was definitely a struggle sometimes, but I'm glad I got through it. I absolutely love being natural. It's, it's the versatility for me. I've been saying that all the time, like, our hair is just so beautiful it can do so many things and I like that like I can wear my hair curly I can wear my hair straight if I wanted to but I don't want to I I just love my hair being like this and then also one thing that I enjoy about being natural is being able to talk about it to other people to people who don't look like me or don't have my type of hair and just teach them about my hair so that's very fun and even people who do look like me who aren't that educated in natural hair that may call it nappy or unprofessional or things like that I do enjoy talking about my hair like I, I talk about my hair a lot I love it though I wouldn't trade it for the world I probably if I could go back I might transition for a little bit shorter period of time just because my hair is going to shrink up anyway like it, it's short right now so if it was any shorter I think I would look fine that was my fear when I was transitioning that I wouldn't look right with short hair but I mean my hair looks short right now and I think I look good so <laughs> I just I wish I would have been more confident in cutting sooner so that I can embrace the teeny weeny afro stage TWA but I'm I'm happy with the choice that I made and the process that I went with to transition and now that I'm fully natural I just love it I just love it so yes that is my journey I did a lot of talking hopefully I'll be adding some pictures to it so it's not too boring 
This is probably longer than what my hair was before when I was relaxed. Yes. Let's see what it is from the back. Not quite bra strap one, but where's my bra strap? Oh, it's very close. It's like less than an inch from bra strap one in the back. So, yes, to the natural hair. Longest piece is right here. It's about 10 and a half. Ten and a half in the back. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on my journey. It has been a ride, quite a ride, very interesting. It's fun just to learn more about myself and through this process I have. So I really, really, I, got, I told you guys, I will keep saying this, I love my hair. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my update video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until my next one, I will see you guys later. Bye. We all know that shrinkage is real. We all know that shrinkage, why can I say shrinkage is real? Shrinkage is real. I have to pause, shrinkage is real. Shrinkage is real. Shrinkage is real. We all know that shrinkage is. <laughs>